everybody, Gakko here. It's week four of Eureka at Home and as you know each week I speak with Ian, the storyteller and Professor Pumpernickel and we organise a different theme. This week's theme is visualising sound. So usually I play my songs on the piano or, or guitar or ukuleles but this week I've decided to play with technology. So this week I'm using Garage Band, it's called. Not everybody has Garage Band, but most of you will have some version of this technology on your phones or on your tablets. So that's what we're going to do this week. Uh, we're going to go back to the 80s and the 90s, you know, rock and roll style. So, to use this technology, um, you've got to imagine it like playing with Lego, um, but you're playing with sound. It all comes in blocks. My computer has thousands and thousands of different sounds and when you put them all on the big screen there, they all play together as long as you line them up right. Any old monkey can do this. You can even record your own voice. I'll show you. Look, I've selected a track. Hey, hey, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, hey, hey. And if we look back, you can actually see the sound, visualising sound. Uh, so what we need for a video, of course, is some kind of funky beat. Let's see if we can find one. Um, that's pretty good. I might try this one instead. Doesn't really have a beat. Let's try that one again. Yeah, that's good. So all you do is you click on it, drag it over and look. It's in its place. And if I go back and start. Oh yeah. Oh, it stopped. So all I need to do is extend it. You'll all have different versions of this. I'm just going to make it really, really, really long. And I'll go back to the beginning. And there's my beat. But also, I want some more sounds. So uh, I found this one earlier. It's kind of got some shakers. So I'm going to add that to my overall sound. I'm going to select a different channel. I'm going to draw it over and I'll bring it in a bit after the beginning. So you get a build up of sound. It's a bit like baking a cake, I suppose. Let's hear those two together. There's the beat. Here comes the shaker. Very nice. Now we need some melody. And I found these earlier, which I really like. Um, some Afghan sounds, um, some real instruments. Yeah, baby, I like that. So I'm gonna add that in a bit later, so it builds up again. A bit like making a, your favorite sandwich. Here we go, make it long. Back to the beginning, and this is the start of my song. Here comes that music. Yeah, baby, get on down. <laughs> so it's all building blocks and you just add them together. You can put anything on. You can have the sound of aircraft flying over, your own voice, all kinds. So I'm gonna play with this and I'm gonna try and make us an exercise video. See you soon. So I've started the track. Um, I've put a little introduction-y wah-wah in. Uh, this is how it goes so far. Listen to this. Here's me wow wow. Now we're into the beat. Here comes the shaker. Get ready. You can see it coming. Now here comes the Afghan music on the instrument. And I liked that, so I found another one that complements it. Here it comes. A bit more and let's let get that get going but now what I think we need is a big sound so if I stop that there I've found a brilliant one listen to this here we go yeah love it so let's put that in and that'll really get our exercise video going and inspire us to work out I'm gonna drag that in Make it long because we like this. Woo! There we go. I'll pick it up 
during the Afghan music. Here we go, get ready, here it comes. You can see it on the screen. Get ready, my people! Oh, yeah! That's going to really get them working out. I'm going to keep working out. I'm going to build this up and build it up until we're in a proper rave. So for the next bit, I'm going to go back to the beginning again uh, because we need to add some lyrics, some words for dance moves, I suppose, for people to do in the exercise video. So I'll start again from the beginning. Here we go. So the first thing we want uh, is a kind of um, a wash your hands up because it's good messaging. And I'm going to start the wash your hands up with a kind of, this is a good wash your hands up after four. Here we go with the Afghan. One, two, three, four. Wash your hands up, wash your hands up, wash your hands up, wash your hands up. I'll record this and put it on. Wash your hands up, 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 wash your hands up. But the next thing I want people to do is to lift their hands in the air and shake them off. Shake your hands off. It's a good way of getting people's hands in the air. So we need we need that big cord, I think, in order to get people's arms in the air. Or it did in my day. So now's the time to bring in Shake Your Hands Off, which is that big cord. Let's have a listen. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Shake your hands up, 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 shake your hands up. So here's what's happening next. I've written some lyrics. Um, here they are. Uh, and what they are are words, but they're also instructions for what I want people to do in the exercise video. But what I've also got here is a map of the song with all the different times. So this is dry your hands up and next I'm gonna get people stomping. Have a look, here's a closer look at the building blocks of the song. So if I play that, here is our shake your hands up, dry your hands off, shake your hands up, dry your hands off, shake your hands up, dry your hands off, shake your hands up, dry your hands off. So that's that bit, but you'll notice now here that it's gonna go quiet. Now, some people think that's called dropping the beat, but for me, I'm leaving some gaps so that I can record my voice telling people what to do next. So now all I need to do is record the lyrics. Wash your hands up, 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 wash your hands up. And I also want a harmony voice, so another track. Wash your hands up, wash your hands up, wash your hands up. So, so I've made my music video for our exercise. All we need now is choreography. So this is wash your hands up. This is dry your hands off, shake them up in the air. This is shake them left, shake them right, shake them over, shake them back again. And this is stomping. So I've got uh, a speaker and I've got it on my phone. Here we go. Goes like this. Can you hear it? Okay, my people, it's now time to do Gacko's exercise video. Before we start getting into all the moving and the grooving, you people need to stretch your bodies. You shouldn't do any exercise without limbering up first. So give those bodies a good stretch. And then we are ready to go. Okay, so get look at ready, my people. Here we go. It's time for the exercise video. Get your free card. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Wash your hands up, wash your hands up, wash your hands up. Can you 
Shake your hands to the left. Shake your hands to the right. Shake them over and shake them. So there you are, simple as that. I don't know about you, but I now feel fit as a fiddle. I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget that this technology is easy to use. You don't have to be a musician to do this kind of stuff. All you're doing is dragging blocks in, making shapes and building up the sound. It's really, really easy. And most people's smartphones or tablets will have a version of this kind of um, technology and if I can do it you can do it too and also this week we're having a competition yes you'll see competitions also on with Ian the storyteller and Professor Pumpernickel too and this week's competition for me is for you to send in short videos or pictures of you and your family doing the workout make sure you get permission first and the winners of the best one will receive a Eureka goodie bag and also a free family pass for Eureka when we're open again. So thanks for watching. Send your videos or your pictures to the comments below and I'll see you all next week at Eureka at home.